I got a message from Nicholas who wrote, can you tell me how to place a background, say a design previously created in Photoshop, in a responsive project using fluid boxes? As a matter of fact, Nicholas, I can. In fact, it's something I was working on uh, this week for one of my clients here. So I've gone and found an image just to use as an example for this uh, video demonstration here. And this I got from PicWizard, which by the way, uh, offers you a whole bunch of free images that you can use for your e-learning courses. This is a picture of a mother carrying a baby while talking on a mobile phone and just using that as an example here. So here's my project here. So what I've done is I've created a responsive design project. It's got a sort of a parent level fluid box, which should show through. And I've made some design choices here that match this particular company's branding. So what I need to do is I need to select the uh, fluid box properties panel where you can choose your fluid box selector. And, uh, and we'll go into um, the parent level fluid box. But before we do this, we need to do something with that particular image. Uh, we want to make sure, of course, that the image is sized appropriately for this particular project. And we're focusing on the maximum screen aspect ratio and resolution here. So, uh, which for most people will be the, the default desktop uh, preview, which is 1024 by 627. But obviously you're gonna make choices based on whatever uh, overrides that you've done. So for example, if you've made this 1024 by 698, uh, that's going to be the size that your background image should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that particular project in Photoshop or that particular image in Photoshop. So here's the image that I downloaded from PicWizard and I need this to fit in the uh, size window or the fluid box for this particular e-learning project. So I want to make sure that I'm choosing that maximum size that we already talked about. So let's go into uh, image drop down and select image size. And uh, we can see here clearly this is huge. It's 5,760 pixels by 3840. So let's hit cancel there. I actually need it to fit in a very specific size. So I'm going to create a new project at this point here, or rather a new image, a new document. And I'm going to type in those exact numbers. So I need to be 1024 by 627. So we're going to create that. Here it is. So I'm going to select all of this by hitting Control A on my keyboard and then Control C to copy it. And then with this new document, I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to use the edit, transform, and choose scale. And I'm going to make this upper left hand corner my anchor point. And I'm going to lock the, uh, the aspect ratio uh, and just reduce this down to a smaller size and adjust it so it fits. Now, one of the things you might want to think about is the per this person and how they're placed on the image uh, when you're considering responsive design. So if she's going to be on the right hand side of the, uh, the responsive design project, I might want to crop out any extra space there and then just resize this further so that it fits that particular size here. So I'm just kind of playing with it and cropping it considering what my options are going to be. So I'm just going to say OK to that. And we're going to save this as a JPEG. This will be much smaller than the original size image. And, you know, for, for our purposes here, I'll just uh, um, call it cropped image and save it to my desktop here. And I can choose, you know, whatever compression uh, that you decide is best for your project there. So that's fine here. So let's go back to Captivate now. So again, with the parent fluid box selected, um, now I've made some choices already uh, for this particular fluid box design. 
The space up here is completely transparent, as is this fluid box here and this fluid box here. However, I've filled in the fluid boxes down here with a background color that's completely white. So it'll block out anything that's behind that. But let's go back to selecting our parent fluid box, which is the topmost fluid box. And then I'm going to go into the options tab of my properties panel. And you'll see where it has fill. And you can choose between solid fill, gradient fill, or image fill. And this is what we're going to choose here, image fill. Uh, it chooses one of those default uh, image fill types for you, but we're going to change that out. But this is useful for you to just confirm that all your fluid boxes are set up to either be transparent or not. Uh, these are the child level fluid boxes I'm referring to here. But let's now select that image that we created. Now the first thing we're going to do is use that folder icon and then click on the import button to find that image, that cropped image that we've created in Photoshop, and we're going to bring that in. So that looks pretty good. That's sort of what I had in mind. Um, some of the things that you want to customize, of course, is what the image is going to be anchored to or what the, what the anchor point for that particular image is. So for example, if it was set up to be the left side, obviously this wouldn't be a good choice because eventually she's going to get cut out of the shot and we want to keep her in the shot there so let's change that to right and this will keep her on the right hand side and of course be appropriate for almost any type of mobile device uh, and of course the option to have it centered is available as well but keep in mind uh, for an image like this that might not work out so well as you get to those smaller mobile devices. Here's some other examples where I've uh, included some background images here. Uh, so in this case here, uh, left justified works out okay, uh, but I think maybe the better choice in this particular case, and let's just select the parent level fluid box, go into the options panel, uh, maybe this would be better centered you know, just keep it on the, the mom, and that works out pretty good. And of course, uh, you know, here's another example where, you know, obviously this is to the left, and I think it's going to make sense to be on the left-hand side just because dad's there. But maybe, maybe the car is the focus. Let's see what it looks like, uh, first of all, with the, the dad being the focal point. Yeah, that's okay, but it's not clear what he's doing. It's just some guy, you know, bending down with a spray bottle. Um, you know, if this is about automobiles or something like that, uh, maybe the left or top left side is is a better choice here. Because uh, even if we crop them out, it's still, we know it's about washing the car. Uh, so, you know, again, those choices are, those design choices are yours to make. Um, the only time I would choose, I would uncheck tiled and allow stretch to work is if it was an abstract image. Because uh, as you can see here, if I've got stretch selected, it's going to distort the image uh, for those cases. And you definitely want to avoid that if there's images of people. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.